Hello world, this is Micro talking at you, and welcome to Thoughts for Your RAM. I'm not talking about computer RAM per se, I'm talking about your human brain RAM. You know, the type of memory you don't need to think about too long to recall? No? Okay. The type of content on this channel will be IT related, from experiences working in IT, to useful skills or software that could aid you in your IT career, mainly focusing on programming. In the real world, I'm an experienced software engineer who works full time, so that's why I don't upload too often, but I hope to change that one day. If you're wondering, what does a software engineer do? Well, there are a range of things we can do. We can build websites, mobile applications, program games, build software for a computer, and many other things that I haven't mentioned. So if you're considering a career in IT, especially around software engineering, and would like to know more, why not give this channel a go? Be sure to click subscribe so you don't miss a thing. I cover experiences working as a software engineer, programming tools and concepts, as well as beginner-friendly technical tutorials. So, if you'd like to learn how to program, just a little bit to see if you like it, or want to learn something new, this is the place for you. Please note, I'm no artist, but I like doing things myself. And this tool here gives me everything I need to create a basic model, in a very intuitive manner. So I don't need to sink days into learning how to use it. <coughs> Blender. <coughs> For those who might be wondering, I'm sculpting my model in Vroid Studio. Vroid is free to download and free for commercial use, so if you wanted to become a VTuber yourself, here's a good place to start. This is actually the first time I'm trying the non-beta version, so if you see me poking around looking at things, it's because I've never seen it before. The best part about Vroid models is that they come fully rigged. Well, except for the hair. For facial tracking, VC face works quite well with a Vroid model. You may have noticed various little cuts here and there. That's because Vroid stopped responding. Yes, I know I'm a software engineer and I've got a computer that can't handle Vroid. Well, this computer is a little bit old, but it was the first computer I bought with my first paycheck as a software engineer. One of the benefits of being a software engineer is that you typically have hardware provided to you, whether it be in the form of a PC or maybe a laptop you can take home. So that's why I haven't had a need to upgrade my computer. And because of sentimental value, of course. All right, now that I have the base for my Vroid model, what I like to do is develop textures. I didn't want to bore you with the development process for the textures because it's quite trial and error. I'm not very good at drawing on a 3D model. And yeah, really didn't want to bore you. If you'd like to see how this model came together as a whole, be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss it. Until then, this is Micro, logging out. Mm -hmm.